We're about to play this game, Isle of Sky. We've played it a couple times together, but we borrowed Claire's copy. It's basically a more chill version of Catan because mm. it is based on growing and expanding the land, except everyone has their own board. And based on all the elements here, that's how you determine the points. So it can be really different depending on which one you draw for every unique game. This bag contains a bunch of tiles that has like roads, water, lakes, blah, blah, blah. And then when you draw that by chance as well, that's how you piece together your island. Bambi should have his own. Why'd you push him away? I didn't push him away. He decided that he wanted to get up. Five points for the player with the most gold and oh, two for the player with the, the second, second most. most. Reveal. I can't afford anything for you. Five. Wait, that's not legal. Because this mountain has to be oh, a mountain. Oops, I put it the wrong way. Oops, I did it again. I played with your heart. Your heart. That's the last thing you want to hear from your surgeon. Oh, lucky, lucky. You got five victory points on it. I think get one per sheet, so. Which is one victory point per every sheet. your feet like jelly beans Toby and Bambi always play together because their personalities are really similar and even though Toby is what like nine or ten years older they basically are a good match for each other and they were just running everywhere just now and then Bambi kind of gave up and came up here to cool down and I was brushing my teeth and I saw which I thought was so funny that they're resting across the hall from each other kind of like enemies in those western movies where they face each other <laughs> Good morning. Actually, no, it's afternoon. We already ate lunch. Who am I talking to? Talking to a lot of people, okay? You wouldn't know. I'm also not feeling really well. Again, I already went into this last video, but the mornings are the worst. Okay, I'm just trying to not be angry. When you're physically uncomfortable, especially your eyes and you're, you're just sneezing constantly, I don't want to talk to people and then when I'm trying to respond, I want to make sure that I don't take my anger out on them and I don't seem unnecessarily irritated. But my family leaves me alone when they see me, they just feel bad for me, I can see it in their eyes. But it normally tones down after a couple of hours because I've been out and about, and my humidifier is on, and I feel much better. I have a lot to do, but I'm trying to be not so worried about it because worry really doesn't serve me. All right, I like to, I like to clip it like this. I'm gonna finish up doing my laundry. It always makes me feel good to do some chores to clean up. A decluttered space really primes my mind for getting some good stuff done. <laughs> My mom's pajamas, I just felt like matching today. I haven't bought pajamas in Asia, so everything I have, I've had since middle school, you know, all of those fuzzy Disney Spongebob things. It's just that I don't like navy blue, and I also hate gray. Those are my, right now, my two least favorite colors. But it feels nice, and I'm gonna go downstairs and get my cat sweatshirts. Thank you to everyone who purchased it again, because I put it on sale for a week. I think I might make it available again because the way that the manufacturing works is 
it counts down and then makes all the orders in one day and I didn't want to make people wait too long so I only had it available for six days so I'll just reopen it again I'll, I'll launch it again if you want something cute to lounge around in I also washed some of our paper towels nothing down here the pollen because my grandma opens the backyard door whenever she's coming in and out the garden oh run away abort <sighs> small people in this family grandma has harvested two strawberries and some green onion today This is your We have those tampons up there from when my sister was in high school. I never used tampons. They're gonna be up there forever. Cute. Okay, <laughs> really failed at vlogging. I did this whole thing, then I got really hungry and went out into the hall asking when dinner is because it's 6.30 and then realized I didn't vlog the process of my work at all and it's down here on Photoshop. But basically it was just doing a lot of color reduction. If you're familiar with digital art or using some scan images of my sketches, I might have shown this before, but I was looking and studying a lot of my family portraits because we don't have a lot of photos. I wanted to make a print collection about that essentially. So this is one of them that I'm going to have digitally printed. Apparently the turnaround is really fast and I can get this in four days, hopefully. My idea is once I have this fabric in front of me, I'm going to do something with it, maybe like paint over it. This looks like from afar, this looks like a nice vacation wallpaper because of the palm trees. My grandfather's family actually lived in Malaysia for a long time. We're not Malaysian, but I guess we just have a lot of family there and I don't know how far it goes back. My maternal grandfather was the first to leave and immigrate to China technically, so he was born in Malaysia. I haven't been to Malaysia since I was three and I actually remember memories in my own head of going to that really tall tower and being terrified and it was so hot. I remember it was like scorching sun on my back and there was a really big curvy slide that looked like a snake and I was terrified. I contemplated for a good maybe 10 minutes, it felt like an hour of my three-year-old life and I did not end up going into the snake tunnel slide. I was mortified. I walked all the way to the top by the way, it was a spiral staircase and it felt like two stories. In reality, it was probably 11 feet and then I forced my mom to come up hold my hand and walk me down. That was one of my most vivid memories. I have a lot of memories from since I was three, even, even a little bit earlier, and hopefully I'm not delusional, but I'm pretty sure these are like real memories I've lived. And when my mom was present, she can verify that this has actually happened. Today is taco night. My dad has been craving tacos for weeks and technically that takeout from the Asian fusion restaurant didn't really count. So Tyler got ingredients last week and he's making them for him. And I believe he's making some veggie alternatives for some vegan tacos for me just to try a little bit. I'm just starving. Anything will taste good. I'm sure that will taste very good. I just wanna go down and get my dinner. Oh, you're sitting with us, finally. I am, well, it's for, it's for, it's for, it's for ease and convenience and eating. Get ready, any minutes. I just 
bring a stack of paper towels over here. And a handful of spoons for all the bowls. I know it's my stuff. It might be best to go to the store to get because they're limiting how many pieces you can buy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking um, we'll go in the morning. Probably. Happy Sunday. I'm gonna go downstairs. I don't think this house gonna fit in there. Yeah. Pick the wax off. <laughs> okay. really inhaled all of the powder. <laughs> I thought I was feeling better. I shouldn't have opened this, but I wanted to start using it. And apparently this paper will disappear in water in seconds. I just went to the bathroom and I'm saving the water I used to wash my hands. And I wanna see if this paper disappears in water. Careful, careful. Careful. Oh, wow, okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this though. Is it supposed to just wash away or? Yeah, it's gone. 
You love to play in your bathtubs. Yeah? Wow, look at these icicles or more like waxicles created because the fan is on and it helps my allergies a little bit to have ventilation in the house so the flames keep blowing one way. I gotta turn it earlier. Normally I pay more attention to it if I wasn't so busy doing other things and I try to stop any leaks so that the wax can last a little longer, but I'm trying to collect all of the wax, even though it's gonna be really, I guess, not sound candle. I just wanna mix them all together just to have in one, I don't know. Bambi is here again, takes his day naps here. And it is time for lunch, so I'm gonna go downstairs and have one of these Indian packages. It's so good. Okay. These are, I think, two servings, but we just both eat two servings each. <laughs> Taste it. Okay. My mom went to Home and Garden Center this morning to get all of these cacti and things she's really excited about. I thought she would be out here gardening, but instead it seems like she has fallen asleep to something. I didn't have any coffee this morning. I know it's kind of gross to have your coffee old from several hours ago, but it's not, I don't know. I actually don't know how to defend myself. I'm just like, it's not sour or stinky, so it works just fine. And I've been making really slow progress I'm trying to make this composition with my grandfather in a garden and I wanted to have a certain look but I am figuring out what it actually will look like. You know when you have a vision and I'm just trying to realize that. Oh, <laughs> Oh, you're making pasta for him? Yeah. You could put a little bit of it. This is sage. Normally you put parsley. He only wants to eat American food now. Yeah. Seasoned peanuts.
They just do this over and over again. I'm glad that they have each other to play with. Morning struggles once again. That's the norm though. Tyler wants to bring up breakfast for me because um, grandma goes in and out a lot to the backyard and a lot of pollen might get in. And Bambi always wants to go outside because the three older cats eat downstairs. We have to always make sure that the three are finished downstairs and it's all put away before Bambi goes down there. And then... Um, unsweet so, soy milk. Yeah, the unsweet soy milk for you. And what else do they need? I finished up the piece and I camouflaged grandpa into some of the bushes. You can see him near the bottom. I guess I was just a little bit rushed and I wanted to get it done without really planning. So I just went for it knowing that colored pencil is not really erasable. So I tried to erase it a couple of times, but it's not going to get any better than this. So if I wanted to fix it, I can do that digitally even though I don't really like to, but for the time being, for my assignment, I was writing to do and everything, and my next steps are just to get the scanned and get the show on the road because I have to continue and do my next one. But first, a quick lunch break, and very pleased to discover that Grandma prepared chapche for lunch. It's so good and very chewy and yummy. Mm. I've been watching Once Upon a Time, the last season, because it's only okay, to be honest but it's something nice to happen on the background. And I'm on the last episode now. I made this repeat that I have to put into the computer, but I think we're at a good stopping point because I need a little afternoon iced coffee. You've been hanging out here a lot. Okay, well, I kind of have my work cut out for me in the next couple of weeks. I cannot believe that my school life is coming to an end. And here we are. I'm going to go on with my day now. I'm going to sign off. See you soon. Sending you our love. Bye. Ayo,